bruh. Yo, what's up? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm uh So Ah uh, shit. So um yeah. Just walking in the forest, I guess. I don't fucking know. Alone with my dog who's fucking full of ADHD. There's a lot of smells everywhere. I guess, I don't know. Yo, what you sniffing that boy? What you sniffing that boy? Huh? Huh? Bro, what the fuck? I'm legit almost thought I was like a person real quick. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Uh, so if you're wondering where I am, I'm basically in a, an area I've been familiar with since I was a child, so that's all you need to know. <laughs> and yeah, um, just want to talk about you, <laughs> a little story. So, I, uh, yo, I was like, yeah, the, me and my, my boys were, were, uh, chilling, on 4th of July, we were about to, about to go to a 4th of July barbecue, my dude. Next thing you know, this, this dude fucking comes out of nowhere, he's like, yo, I'm 18, you got, uh, you got some weed? And the dude, and my bo my mom my, my boys is like, bruh, just give him your, your, your joint. I'm like, nah, boo, dude, what the fuck, nah. I'm not giving this guy my joint. I'm like, bruh, what the fuck, dude? Like, why the fuck would you do that, dude? It's my shit, not his. I'm saving this motherfucker for a party. For the party, bruh. And he's like... And then, because the, uh, the main reason why he pressured me to give him the joint and even mentioned it, really, is because uh, he was going to give $5 to anyone up for a joint. So, that's something. Now, I'm talking about a weird-ass dude who's wearing glasses, a fucking hat, has his dog. Yo, Strayer just has this fucking dog with him. He's like, I'm 18, can you give me some weed? I don't have an ID. I can't go to, like, the, the fucking dispensary guinea and shit. Like, bruh, nah. Whew. Anyways, the guy checks his pockets because I, I was forced to give him the joint anyway. I was like, God damn it. And you can thank my friend for that. <laughs> I mean, like, bruh. So, because I was like, you know what? Fuck it. We're, you know, we might pass by the dispensary on our way there. So, just give me my fucking five bucks. So. Now, obviously, the guy checked his pockets. Or barely. If you can... I don't know, you can probably say he swore to it, shite, but just kind of patted himself down. He's like, no, I don't have five dollars. You want to follow me to my car? I'll give you the five dollars. I'm like, brah, brah, brah. Do you think I'm fucking retarded? Do you think I'm a fucking idiot? Do you honestly think I am that fucking stupid to be like, yeah, dude, this guy's cool. He's totally not going to rape my ass or anything. Oh, no, he's not going to rape my ass or fucking slit my throat or whatever. No, nah, no, nah, this guy's cool. I'm going to go to his fucking car alone for the $5. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> this guy's fucking retarded, dude. I'm sorry. Fucking idiot, dude. Straight, straight up, like. Why? Like, what the fuck? Do you honestly think... I'm gonna risk my life for five dollars, and I'm not. And I'm, I'm, I'm. This guy was pretty fucking weird from the beginning. He looked like he was on some shit. I don't know what it was. The way he was acting, he was also a little twitchy, and I just knew something was up with this dude. Like, dude. <laughs> like, bruh. Like, what? The I was like, what the, who the fuck is this dude? Number one, why the fuck is he here? Number two, why the fuck is he asking us for weed? Number three, number four, why the fuck would you up, go up at a bunch of, to a bunch of, like, and it's not just me. I'm with my two other bros, and there's like three other guys with us. We're all just chilling. 
in the back of all my friends' restaurants. I mean, restaurant. And, uh, yeah. So, and he, he just goes up to all the ways. He's like, you got some weed? Like, bruh. I mean, sure, it's 4th of July, but bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? So, I'm not sure what to say about that. But, after my experience in, uh, somewhere where I never want to mention again, honestly, and I just want to say that I'd rather forget my time there and even existing there. Because, you know, I already went through shit, so. But either way, it's not like, you know, I don't know. But no, I was so pissed. I was like, dude, this dude, like, what the fuck? I mean, I had the option to give it to him, but still. I don't know. This is water. This is nature. I fucking, fucking love nature, dude. Why the fuck is there a bucket here? My dog's like, bro, what the fuck? Yo, boy, you think you can go down there? Nah? Yeah, I don't know if my dog can go down there. I mean, I can probably lift my dog up and down, but still. No? He's like, nah. He's like, nah, Dad. I ain't fucking with that shit. I ain't fucking with that shit, Dad. Alright, buddy. He's happy. Yeah, it's been a while since he's been out for nature walk, and yeah. But no, um, honestly, like... I don't even know what this vlog, this video is about. It's just me rambling on about a random story, about a random event that happened at a fucking 4th of July barbecue. Well, it wasn't, it was before that. But anyway, after I got to the party, I got fucking wasted. I mean, shit, vodka, cognac, ooh, tequila, beer, lots of weed. I mean, dude, straight up, I'm not gonna lie, if there were shrooms, I would've fucking straight up done them. I would've done the shit out of that. Acid, you fucking bet. Morphine, oh, come on, let me sh- <laughs> Nah, nah, seriously though, kids, do not do drugs. Do not do drugs unless it's weed. I mean, that's like if you want to do drugs, I would definitely- promote weed to you. Please do not smoke meth or fentanyl. As a fentanyl and meth user, or dealer, uh, I mean user, yeah, whatever. Yeah, user. I'm not fucking selling that shit. Actually, I, yeah. Anyway, as a, as a former meth and fentanyl user and abuser, I can safely say that that shit will fuck your life up. It'll ruin you. It'll ruin everything that you know. And it's a horrible situation to be in. If you ever find yourself in a situation like that where everything's fucked and you're on drugs, please seek out help. Please look for help before it's too late. You know. I couldn't... I'm not going to go into details because I'm not sure if I want to, but a lot has happened during that time frame of, you know, when I was there and what happened. And all I can say is that a lot happened and I'm not happy. I'm not proud of any of it, really. And because of what I went through and what me and my girlfriend when experienced, it was fucking heart-wrenching to go through. And it was just fucking, you know, tormenting. I never want to go through anything like that again in my life. But that being said, I there's a possibility I might... Because I'm not going to lie. I miss doing the drugs. And a part of me deep down wants to just keep doing them over and over until I die and overdose. 
And I'm not asking for sympathy or whatever the fuck. Go fuck yourself with your sympathy bullshit. Oh, uh, hey, look, there's a dude with his dog. What the fuck? Hey, yo, dude, what's up, boy? Oh, yeah. Anyways, this is nature. We love nature. Nature is beautiful. Enjoy nature. Have fun in nature. This, this is also a thing my therapist is recommending me to do, so that's helping, I guess. Anyways, bye. As a fellow Native American with Native blood, I bless you and I bless this land. If you're a white man, then go fuck yourself. Now I'm joking. I love you. We good. We good. Alright, later. <clears throat> I'm gonna fucking go smoke a joint and get high as fuck. And, uh, yeah.